I'm Scotty Bowman, the Libertarian candidate for United States Senate. A vote for a Libertarian tells both major parties that it's time to restore the liberties they have taken away and respect our Constitution. Well, one thing I would say is if you disapprove of the fact that your Senator, Carl Levin, has voted to spend your tax dollars to help bail out wealthy Wall Street investors and bankers, then I suggest voting for Scotty Bowman because that'll be, send a clear message that you're voting for somebody who thinks differently and that you're not happy bailing out these Wall Street investment firms and bankers. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I did vote for TARP. Uh, right. You know, every day I'm in Washington, I face love, not every day. Some days you face a really tough vote. It needed to be done. It has now, you know, parts of it have uh, worked, parts of it have not. All right, thank you. Libertarians clearly believe in less government power and more individual freedom. If that's the direction you think our country should go in, vote your hopes and not your fears. Unlike the Republicans and Democrats, Libertarians, like myself, support a non-interventionist foreign policy. I support a federal government that does not exceed the authority granted to it by the Constitution. It does not have the legal authority to override state drug laws by harassing medical marijuana patients. A vote for Levin will tell him that you're pleased with the work he's doing. A vote for the Republican will say you're pleased with the work President Bush is doing. It tells them that you're pleased with the economy and thrilled with the idea of strangers listening to your phone calls and reading your emails. It tells them that you're happy to see billions of dollars and thousands of lives thrown away on reckless crusades. A Peace with Justice Network gathered outside the federal building downtown to send their message. They're against sending 30,000 more troops to Afghanistan. Basically, we should be treating the, um, I'm sorry, Al-Qaeda as a criminal organization and be going after international criminals and not working on nation building in a foreign country. Well, um, one of the big issues that has motivated me to become involved in the campaign for Secretary of State is that within 30 days after taking office, the next Secretary of State must decide whether or not Michigan will be enrolled in the Real ID Act. Um, and I um, deeply oppose the Real ID Act. What it is is an effort to convert the Michigan driver's license into a de facto national ID card. Uh, you uh, actually were affiliated with the ACLU, uh, and it would sound like it from your argument there, but you were at odds with them over your support of the Michigan Civil Rights Initiative. Tell us how all that came down. I see you've done some a little bit of research. Well, Scotty uh, Bowman, come on, I had to know all about it. <laughs> yeah, um, no, I was uh, it, the affiliation was strictly membership. Um, I, they never um, welcomed me on their boards or anything like <laughs> that. I had no official capacity. They opposed them on the Michigan Civil Rights Initiative because um, it was simply a ballot initiative to change the state constitution to end state-sponsored racial, sexual, and ethnic discrimination. That's what it was. And the fact that they, you know, claiming they're for civil liberties, would turn around and support state institutionalized racism effectively, institutionalized sexism, um, strikes me as obscene and counter to the reason anyone that I would think would be interested in their organization would want to join. Every man towed his own agenda, but they danced around some key issues, like fixing the economy. I'm willing to, to put as a committed contract that I will not raise taxes under any circumstances. Scotty Bowman says he's hopeful to make the cut. I anticipate that I will. I'm tr still in the process of trying to gather up all of them. Who will confront incumbent Democrat Debbie Stabenow? We'll discuss peace, liberty, and prosperity and limited government with libertarian candidate Scotty Bowman. Um, tell us a little bit about your campaign. Um, it seems very conservative views uh, in this pack, but you stand out uh, as the libertarian. Tell us about yourself. Well, I've actually been involved in libertarian part politics for a long time through the Libertarian Party, and I adopted 
basically the philosophy that I still hold to today um, as a result of reading the works of Ayn Rand back in the late 1980s. And in fact, I started out being quite different than that when I started reading her works and um, was in a sense transformed. Um, and since then, the basic principle that people have a right to their own lives and that there are certain um, God-given inalienable rights that um, we have unless some, you know, we have unless we are exercised of those rights is taken away by others. Um, those ideas have stuck with me and have been my guiding um, light throughout my campaign. I'm Scotty Bowman, and I approve this message. <laughs>